Hey, seventh graders. We are looking today at understanding 3D figures, real world area problems, and surface area and volume of right prisms. So here we have a 3D figure. We can examine the horizontal whole unit scales. So horizontal would be this way to look at three dimensional figures. These slices allow a way to count the number of unit cubes in the figure, which is useful when the figure is layered in a way so that many cubes are hidden from view. So if you think of this as like a 10 blocks or hundreds blocks, you can't see the back ones, even though right in this picture, you can see that line. Okay. So here we're finding an area. So a landscape company wants to plant lawn seed. 20 pound bag of lawn seed will cover up to 420 square feet of grass and costs $49.98 plus the 8% sales tax. A scale drawing of a rectangular yard is given. The length of the longest side is 100 feet. The house, driveway, sidewalk, garden areas, and utility pad are shaded. So all this here. The unshaded area has been prepared for planting grass. How many 20 pound bags of lawn seed should be ordered and what is the cost? So there we have broken down each of the little sections. And we would solve for each of those and then add them together, which is 140 for shaded or non-grassy areas. Then we have 20 times 18 to find out the grassy areas, which is 360. Then we subtract those and um, we get 220. So the scale is five feet. So every cube is five feet. So we take that 220 times 25 units per foot because it's one over five. We simplify it. We get 5,500. We need to figure out how many 20 pound bags are needed. We divide, we can't have a partial of a bag, so we have to round up. So 14 bags are needed. Total cost is $699.72. Maybe you noticed my mistake and that's that I forgot the sales tax. So we add in sales tax, it would actually be about $755.70. Okay, so real world area, now onto surface area. So the surface area formula is going to be two times the length times the width plus two times the length times the height plus two times the width times the height. So we fill in those, we simplify, multiply, add together, and we get 176 inches squared. So areas of top and bottom, top and bottom, then the sides, then add them all together. It might be a triangle, might be a rectangle or a trapezoid. So remember the formulas might be slightly different then. Okay, so to determine the surface area of right prisms that are composite figures or missing sections, determine the area of each lateral face and the two base faces, and then add the areas of all the faces together. To calculate the surface area of a composite figure, determine the surface area of each prism separately and add them together. So this would be if you have a, picture, um, a larger figure that has multiple in it. From the sum, subtract the area of the sections that were covered by another prism. And to calculate the surface area with a missing section, find the total surface area of the whole figure. From the total surface area, subtract the area of the missing parts, then add the area of the lateral faces of the cutout prism. Volume. Formula for volume is volume equals base times height, where B is the area of the base. H is the height of the prism. A base that is neither a rectangle nor a triangle must be decomposed into rectangles and triangles in order to find the area of the base. So here we have the same figure. Our area of our base is going to be 9 times 4, 36, then times 4 again is 144 inches cubed. Volume is always cubed, area always squared. So that's it for today. Your assignment is to complete lessons, uh, the enrolled questions for lessons 16 to 20 and 23 to 25. Please let me know if you have any questions. Just one more day of lesson left and then our review and test. So have a great day.